Ever wonder how Diogen Z records his Wii Let's Plays? Well, you're gonna find out right now! Hey everybody, what's up? Diogen Z coming at you with a product review. I don't do many of these often, but I want to also let you guys know how to start your own Let's Plays if you want to do some footage for the Wii 360 or PS3, which I do not own. And I thought this would be a cool, cool way to couple a product review and also make a little tutorial for you all. So this right here is called the Hoppage or Hopog, not really sure how you pronounce the name. And it's not all you need to actually get yourself started. Pretty much the idea of the Hopog and how it's advertised to you is that it's simple plug and play. And when you have the right things to plug with, then play is no problem. But something that I didn't know when I picked this up is that you see these composite ports right here? Yeah, see those are your standard composite ports for any average TV that's not in HD. Yellow, white, and red, right? Come, come to know those over the years. I thought that, sure, if they have the ports, then it must support that, right? Wrong. Very mistakenly wrong. And that's where Hoppage, or Hopog, is going to be docked a few points in my overall score. The fact that these ports right here, they do absolutely nothing. I don't know about the S-Video port because I have HDMI cables and I haven't had to use S-Video in a long, long time, but the composite ports in the front are completely useless. And I actually did test it out with my Wii and it will display on the screen that it will do, which uh, the Blitz box that I got last, or two years ago rather, did not do, so it's much better in that sense. But the problem is, when you go to record anything, it doesn't even show up on the computer at all. Now, the Hopog comes with some prepackaged software. It's Total Media Extreme. And there are a few other softwares, other video softwares that support drivers for it. But I haven't found, you know, I'm using Corel. I haven't found any custom drivers for it. So, really, you're going to want to just use the software that comes with it. So... How do you overcome this composite cable failure? Well, simply get component cables, and I suggest getting GigaWare. The reason being is that you can see, much like a tape deck, you can just... I don't even know if you can see the words there, but it says Wii, PS3, 360, and you just punch those tabs, and these wires run back to the systems, and it'll display on the TV through the hoppage, and be recorded perfectly. Setup is really, really simple. Once you have all the right cables, you just plug them into the back here, plug in the USB to the back there, and then over to your PC, laptop, or for at the moment here, USB hub. Just plug that there and put the power cable in, and you're really good to go. Once you have all the software set up, and you have all the right component cables and everything, this thing shoots video like a breeze. It really makes recording easy for anybody who doesn't have any technical knowledge of computers and doesn't want to have to open up their computer to install fancy and expensive video cards. As far as price goes, you can find this on Amazon for around $200, and if you're lucky, you'll catch them on a sale day. I actually got mine during a sale, and I think it was $180, so sales are sometimes worth waiting for, but if you want to start immediately, by all means, go ahead. And now I'm going to show you how simple it is, once it's all plugged in, what you do. Turn on the hoppage. Turn on the device you'll be recording. Make sure that the right tab on the GigaWare is punched out, so... Here's the one for 360, the middle one is Wii, and the last one over there on the left is PS3. And let me just show you that, that punching noise, that's the tab. And there we go, back on Wii. So just be sure that you have the tab set. And there it is. So that's really all you need to do to get your own Let's Plays started. The Total Media Extreme software works well enough, 
And what I recommend is that you use it solely for capturing footage and then just bringing all those files over into your preferred video editing software. But that's basically all. It's very simple. And my main warning to you guys is that when you get this device, if you decide to, that you pick up component cables with it right away. I'd say definitely go for the GigaWare, and it's kind of ironic too because at the time I only had planned to do Wii captures, but a few days later, Matthew Goldsman surprised me with an Xbox 360, and this GigaWare came in very handily because you're going to find one or two sets of component ports in the back of your TV, and if you have all three of the gaming consoles, you don't want to have to keep switching in and out all those cables. Because, I mean, if you look at this thing, it's a mass of cables. And it's really no problem once it's all hooked up, but it's just... You don't want to mess around with it afterwards. Not that you're going to damage the quality or anything like that. But still, it's kind of a hassle to deal with. So, overall, I'd have to give the Hopog an 8.0 out of 10. I only dock it points for lying to me that it could do composite stuff. It really can't do anything composite. If you try, it will fail. I haven't been able to successfully record anything from any composite device, including DVD recorders, or DVD, DVD players, not recorders. I was hoping to use this as a DVD recorder, but the 360 works even better now as that. So, 8.0 out of 10, an excellent device for getting Let's Plays started. Make sure that you get the GigaWare component cables first before you go out and buy this thing. And you can have yourself a grand old time making Let's Plays. Okay everybody, I'm Z, and I'll see you in my future LPs.